Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Peat Wildlife Park. So it's Lou here and it is Tuesday so we are going to be doing our training Tuesdays and this week we are going to be back with our alpacas. So our two female alpacas and we're going to be seeing how they are getting on with their training. So I'm pretty sure I think we've got Yaz and Shoned today who are doing the training with the girls. And we're gonna introduce something a little bit new to them this week to see, to up that up the ante on the training and see how they get on. Um, so if you guys are watching today, please give us a little bit of a wave. Let us know that you're watching this afternoon. Um, so you can just write hello into the comments or send us a little wave or react to the video. If anyone would like a shout out as well, then please, pop your name into the comments box and I'll give you guys a shout out today. Um, so it's very, very sunny here and very glorious. It's so nice to see the sun back out again. Um, definitely makes everything look really nice and makes it super, even more exciting that we're gonna be opening shortly. So hi to Faye, Louise, Julie, hi to Karen as well, who's joining us today. Hi to Sarah as well saying her favourite wildlife park. I would definitely have to agree with you there. So hi to Kim as well. Thank you for joining us guys. And again, we have got our stars enabled on this video. So for any of you guys who don't know what stars are, it is a great way to support us and let us know that you guys love these videos. So for every star that you guys send us equates to um, a little bit of money. So every star is a cent in US dollars, which then is it's sort of basically if we were to receive a thousand stars on this video, then that would be around, I think, seven pounds around about that mark anyway. So if you can send us any stars, please do. It'll be a massive, massive help. And also very shortly, we are going to be introducing rewards for our um stars so hopefully by the weekend by the time we get our trail ready for saturday um for every five thousand stars you send us um we are going to give you guys a little bit of a reward so hopefully you guys will love sending stars even more so thank you to everyone that has sent us stars before and if you can please do so hi to Irene as well hi to Bernie hi to Kim who's joined us so we are just going to take a little wander up and as I say we are doing our alpaca training this afternoon so this is I think the fourth week now we are in our alpaca training and the first initial goal well the end goal for this training is to get our alpacas to do a little bit of agility so as i say they've been doing absolutely amazing with the target training if you guys have seen any of our previous videos so they've been getting on really well with the target training and today we are introducing something a little bit different um, into the training so it could send it a little bit more ski whiff but we will see how they get on so i'll spin you guys around so you can see what is going on so we've got Yaz here with Chikorita, just up on the mound there. And then we've got Shaned just over there with Albebe as well. So this is what we are introducing new today. So we've introduced some little posts. So in, with the idea that we will eventually introduce them to some jumps, we've introduced the posts as just sort of something completely new to get these guys used to. Um, and then in the hopes in the future that we could put a little jump in and these guys won't be scared of it because they are scared of an awful lot of things. So hi to Lee as well. Thank you for joining us guys. I think she's more interested in what I'm doing. I'm sure she'll, uh, she did the crow with all the beers when she decided to whip our own <laughs> You've got your lips stuck on your teeth. <laughs> So if you guys have got any questions about these training sessions, please pop them into the comments box. But basically, as you can see, they are both doing really, really well with their target training. And we are just hoping to introduce these, these guys and move them around these new posts that we've put in, just so they can get used to them and see that it's nothing to be afraid of. So when we do introduce a jump, Hopefully, again, they won't be too scared of it. 
<laughs> so we've got Karen asking how is she getting on with the training? Um, she just done really well actually, just before you come up she did actually follow me through all the posts, now she's itching her face. <laughs> <laughs> she's not scared of these posts. Um, yeah so we did get through them once um, and then she just ran on top of the hill and was there for about five that. So she got a little bit bored, she might come back in a minute. Um, and how's that old baby been getting on as well? She's been really good. She's starting to follow the target a little bit more, as you can see, but she still kind of, not flinches, but shuts her eyes every time we <laughs> click. And um, see, Chicory was also watching old baby as well. Um, but yeah, she's been really, like, see, she's following Sinead a little bit. She's still a little bit more wary, but she's um, definitely getting there. See if I can get Chicory to come down. So if you guys have got any questions, even just about alpacas, then please pop those into the comments box as well. And we will answer those for you. <laughs> so as you can see, training is always up to the animal as well. So as Chikorito is demonstrating there, she's not entirely up for it at the moment. So she's just having a little wander around and then she might come back in a little while because she knows that she's going to get some treats so she's just having a little wonder to see what's going on but in the meantime you can see that Albebe is actually doing really really well with the target training and she's just going in and out of these posts as well which is really really great so it shows us that if we were to introduce a jump hopefully these guys wouldn't be too scared at all and they would trust the keepers to just go over it which is definitely the end goal. <laughs> so if you guys can send us any stars, please do. As I say, so for every 5,000 stars that you guys send us, we are going to introduce a little reward system. So we're going to do, sometimes we're going to do giveaways. Sometimes we are going to do um, behind the scenes stuff. Um, and we will be introducing that all properly this weekend. So on Saturday's target. video, we will be introducing our target. Oh, I've just said target. I'm copying Shanad. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> we will be introducing our reward, should I say. Hi. That's not the target. Hi. I haven't got anything. Bev's. Bev's target. Hey, hey, target. look. So we've got Karen asking, how many times do you do these training sessions? Do you want to try, take it, Shanad? Try two or three times a week, if we can. When we have more time, we'll try and do one every day. Just five minutes a day is enough. Target? Just, Just to keep reinforcing well. it. If they don't want to participate, then um, you just leave it and come back to it another time. But these girls are very... Um, Carrots, so they're very uh, happy to have a little go just for a carrot. Target. So yeah, we try as often as we can, but definitely one, two or three times a week. Uh, a long session of about 15 minutes, maybe. Target. One. Target. That's the wrong side. The sun is shining. We'll spin round. <laughs> she keeps getting distracted by how good they are for itching. So. <laughs> So hi to Nigel who's just joined us, hi to Patricia, Carl, Christy. So if you guys can send us any stars, please, please send us some stars. We've been doing really, really well with our stars, but today we haven't got any yet, which is really sad. Please send us some stars, guys. So we've got Meg asking who chooses the haircuts. Well, actually, you guys chose these haircuts. So last time we went into the first lockdown, we gave you guys the option and they are actually going to be getting sheared again very soon. So you guys are going to have another option on choosing their haircut. So that will be on our social medias pretty soon. Nothing too hard though. <laughs> to cut them. Yeah, not too hard. We'll try and pick some not hard ones. <laughs> So thank you so much. Holly has just sent us 50 stars, which is absolutely amazing. And she's on a two-week streak as well, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you so much. Come on. Come on. So we've got... What are they getting for treats, Karen's asking? Yeah, so we've just got some chopped up carrot, as you can see there. 
Um, so bite-sized little pieces of carrot, um, which they really, really like. Um, they can be quite fussy, they are packaged, so this is something that they like every single time. Um, we have tried parsnip and apple, but it's a little bit hit and miss, but for carrot, they seem to love it every single time, so... Zoe sent some stars as well. She's on a three week streak, which is absolutely awesome. We've got Lisa in his star pockets empty, but he did buy an annual membership last week. So thank you so much. We'll let you off this time. <laughs> and hopefully, in just under two weeks now, you guys can come and use your memberships or your tickets and come and pay us a little visit as well. So speaking of those haircuts, Megs, if anybody has any ideas for some alpaca haircuts, so if you guys have a little Google and send us any ideas that you think will suit these alpacas, as she has said, not too hard because our keepers have got to try and do them. Um, but please, we would love to hear your ideas. And then we'll put a little poll on Facebook um so you guys can decide what haircut these are gonna get so last year i think it was called the lion head haircut they got um but there is some very funky alpaca haircuts that they can get so please have a little look and let us know if you've got any ideas at all so we've got vicky asking how much are annual memberships so our adult annual membership i think is 35.99 and for children concession and student it is 29.99 so you can just head onto the website and you can take a look at the ticketing page and you can purchase your passes on there i didn't see it no oh oh sorry Just to make sure nothing's changed and then she'll come back and have another little go. Yeah, she loves being on there. So we've got Meg saying that's an ace idea for the haircuts and she yeah. can't wait. So please, please just have a little look and send us any ideas that you've got. Um, we have got Karen asking how old these guys are. Um, so I think they're almost three now, aren't they? Yeah. Quite a long time. It feels like yesterday, but I think we've had them a lot longer than I think. So... Yeah, it definitely flies by. Yeah. Um, I think, so Chick's just a little bit older, isn't she? I think she's three months, two yeah. or three months older. Yeah, I think one, I think Chick might be in May, and I think our baby might be in August, July kind of time for the birthdays. Um, so you can see they're kind of similar in height and size, and that's because they are similar in age. Lee did not miss it. He put yay all the way around the poles. Yes. So I'm sorry, I think I'm just talking too oh, much. Sorry, I've got <laughs> I have lost my alpaca now. Sorry, Sinead. So that scene from Jurassic Park, which is <laughs> but it's alpacas. <laughs> so Karen's asking, do these guys get on as well? Well, you can see very clearly here, they absolutely love hanging out together. Um, so anytime you are in the enclosure nine times out of ten you will see these two together side by side um so the only if you didn't hear that the only time you will not see our alpacas together is when albebe is causing a little bit of mischief so she does cause a lot of mischief um usually involving food so she's a very cheeky alpaca um, but normally they are together. So Chick's doing another round. She's doing super well. So we thought these guys were going to be absolutely terrified of these poles, to be honest. But they are doing amazingly, weaving in and out of the poles. Good girl. Good girl. Really good. I'm running a little bit long carrot now as well, but she's done really, really well. Excuse me. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, Lee. It's I'm a she. I'm so so sorry. <laughs> She's off again. <laughs> so we're on 150 stars at the minute, guys. If anybody can send any more stars, please feel free. And if you've got any questions about the training, or if you've been doing any training at home, so I've been doing quite a bit of training with my dog at home at the moment. Um, I've actually got a board of Collie and he is doing very, very well with his training. Um, so if you guys have been doing any training with your pets at home, please let us know. We'd love to hear how you guys are getting on. 
so please do let us know if you're doing any or if you'd you'd like any tips then hopefully we can try and help you out a little bit as well so Bebs has just done it as well Yay! Woo! Did she go the whole way through yeah. so Bebs has just gone the whole way through these four poles as well which is absolutely amazing she did it that's so good over to the camera as well. well Hi. Come on, guys. Come on, then. Snacks. So they've done really, really well on this session. So we're not going to carry it on. As Sean had said, she's run out of carrots, but they have done super well on this session. Super cute. Well done, girls. That was so good. Hello. So we've got Karen asking as well, is an alpaca like a llama? Yes, they come from the same family, so they're essentially cousins. Um, so alpacas are a little bit smaller and they do tend to get longer wool and alpacas have shorter ears as well and a bit of a shorter face so you can see alpaca has got a cute little short face and alpacas are a lot taller and have a nice big long face so hi to tammy and sarah who have just joined us as well so if you want to take a little look back at this video a little bit later these guys have just done their training session and done really really well really successfully gone through these poles which really gives us a good hope that they yes. will definitely do some agility so as i say this is the fourth session with these guys so technically we're on like the fourth month of training they started at the beginning of the year so they've been doing really really well yeah really well so what are you hoping for the next goal to lead on from this so I'm hoping we can get into this really smoothly with just a reward at the beginning and end and then I think we'll try and get them some more obstacles and that's a jump over which I think will be, be exciting. <laughs> yes. Do you do like to jump and run though? Um, especially if you know the Mara have been fed and we let them out from their area they come sprinting through the enclosure. So I think we'll have Yeah, the food run. <laughs> food run. Yes. <laughs> when snacks are life. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, lovely. Mm. Thank you. So yeah, I think Super maybe cute. by the next time you join us, I think hopefully we'll be able to aim and start with a nice weave and then maybe a an introduction to jumping. Um, <gasps> Very exciting. But we'll see. I mean, they've surprised us today because we were a bit worried that they were going to show us up and just completely ignore us, but they've both done really well, and um, which is good to know because then. Um, Usually when things go a bit wrong for us, it tends to be when we try to do something like that for you guys, but it went really well. You did so good. <laughs> it's better than yesterday. Kisses. Better than yesterday, I got scratched in the eye by a meerkat oh live on <laughs> camera. Yeah, so if any of you guys saw that, I've fully recovered. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so we've got Lee asking, do you shear these guys in the summer and what happens to their wool? Um, yeah, so we sheared them just before summer, um, so I think we did it in May last year. Um, and with their wool, we save it and use it for enrichment for our other animals. So our squirrels love to use it as bedding and nesting material. Um, we also use it for enrichment as well, so our otters really like the smell of it. And we might even put a little bit out for native birds to take for their nests as well. So we do tend to get through a fair bit of it, um, as it's really nice and warm, so it's excellent for nests and things like that. They are being too cute in the sun. I'm sorry, they have been very, very cute. They're a little bit dirty as well because they've been rolling in the dust baths as well, especially Chicory, so he's just got about 10,000 sticks up to her legs, <laughs> um, but she's been having a good dust bath rolling around, which is quite cute. So if you guys can send us any more stars, please do. We're on 150 at the moment, so let's see if we can get some more stars before this video ends. So as I say, all these stars will be going towards a reward and we'll be introducing those on Saturday. So the more stars you send, the more rewards we will be giving out. So please, please, please feel free to send any stars you can. <laughs> Hi. What's she doing? We're itching her face. Oh, they like okay. to just put the heads right in the middle of the bamboo and scratch themselves on it. So up to no good. Yeah. Mischief. Like Mischief makers. <laughs> Hi. 
Don't pretend to be scared when you've just gone in and out of those posts, all fine. <laughs> So if you've got any more questions, guys, or if there's anyone that's just joined and would like a shout out today, please pop your name into the comments and we'll give you guys a shout out as well. I think but, the alpacas know they'll be getting some of our food from us. <laughs> we pop, pop the <laughs> You're telling her off. Spicy. Hi. Hi. They'll be getting their um, evening feed once we're done. So we, what we do is we feed the alpacas and we pop them in their house for a little bit so the mara can have some time with their food because um, El Bebe's favourite food is the mara food which is not designed for her so we need to give the mara a bit of time to eat before El Bebe comes and eats it all. <laughs> <laughs> Just loving the snacks. Yes. Isn't that nice? Hi. So remember guys our next live video will be on Saturday at 9am when we will be doing our live Easter trail we've turned it in for you guys so please please join us for that so we've just got 50 more stars thank you Lee who's on a 12 week streak that's wow. absolutely yeah. amazing thank you and please keep coming back keep that streak going so like I say on Saturday we're going to be doing a Easter trail for you guys so please join us for that because we're going to need your help to solve the clues and find all of the eggs around the park so please join us for that because that'll be a lot of fun and we can't wait to do that trail for you guys so as i say we will be introducing as well our little reward system that we've been making up so every star that you can send is going to go towards the rewards for you guys as well so Every 5,000 we get is going to be a reward. So please, please, please keep sending the stars. Hi. Hair's just blowing in the wind, looking super cute. She's majestic, isn't she? She's so majestic. I feel like she's got a real 80s fringe. She just burped as well. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, nice live on camera. I know, live on camera. Thank wow. You. That was a lot of carrot, wasn't it? <laughs> was an excellent animal. Zebra just fat. <laughs> Are you getting some love? The camera slices you. So we found like some nice scratchy spots. Ooh. She might lie down. Will she lie down? She's absolutely loving it. I think she's just gonna fall asleep in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> little yeah. spa day, little spa session. Chick's like, hey, where's mine? Hi. She's fine on her terms. She's happy to be in your personal space. She's even trying to touch her. She's like, don't touch her. Audacity. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> you got your teeth out. Oh. Like Everyone's burping today. What is happening? So if you guys haven't got any more questions, then we will leave it there for today. Let these guys go and enjoy their tea as well and the Mara enjoy their tea as well. Um, but as I say, please join us for Saturday because um, that is going to be a really fun little trail and we're going to need all the help we can from you guys to solve the clues. Um, so we will see you on Saturday at 9am.